Welcome to Coffee Break. My name is Michael Moret. Sitting here thinking about how much I love football. I love watching football. I love playing football. I still do when I can, um, which isn't very often anymore. But you know, just to throw the football around and run past plays, something like that. It's just so much fun. I've always loved it. Never been very good at it. But any time there was a pickup game back in the 1960s in our neighborhood, I was there. One of the youngest, slowest, skinniest people on the block, but I still played. In grade school, in high school, we always played football for recess, lunchtime. In high school, we had inter, inter uh, what's it called, intramural teams. And I played on a few of them because I loved them. Again, I, was, I wasn't very good, but I just loved the game and I loved to play it. So I was not surprised when the ball was not given to me or thrown to me. Why would it, why would it be? You know? I'll, I'll never forget this, though. I was playing wide receiver for some strange reason. And we were informed that this was going to be the last play of the game. And we were down by a touchdown. We needed a touchdown to win. So the quarterback drew up all the plays, and I was running in a certain uh, pattern that I had to follow. So I did, and I, I just went through the motions because I thought, well, it would be like any other play. Somebody else would get the ball. So I, you know, calmly ran my pass pattern and went into the end zone like I was told to do, and I cut to the right like I was told to do, and I looked back toward the quarterback. And when I looked back, much to my surprise, he had fired a missile. And when I turned around and I looked, it was about six inches from my face. Out of complete and total fear, I grabbed that thing. And the next thing that I knew, I saw my feet where my head is supposed to be. I grabbed that ball. Somebody nailed me hard, tackled me, and I flipped upside down. And I landed on the ground. And my hands were clinging to that football with white knuckles. And somehow I managed to get on and we won the game. Boy, that was a sudden thing for me. I was thinking about that, totally unexpected, unaware, and suddenly, which is a phrase that God often uses in his word, and suddenly. And Jesus used this phrase to speak of his judgment. In Luke chapter 21, verse 34, Jesus warns, Take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness, and the cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares or suddenly. He's warning about his sudden judgment when he returns. Many, many people are going to be caught off guard. They're going to be doing their own thing, living, living their sinful ways that they've always lived, but all of a sudden, unexpectedly, wham, a football in the face, as it were. Jesus returns and they are dead on arrival and burning in hell. That actually happens to a lot of people every single day. 100,000 people die on average every single day across this world. Most of them don't expect to die. And most of them do not expect to go to hell. But most of them will. And suddenly, be ready. You never know. This has been Michael Moret with another Coffee Break.